JB Circles here with a video on Bitcoin suggesting a major top is approaching and I'll tell you why I, why I think so. So um, while my bearish projections for the stock market are, are not quite materializing yet I, I gave a call to my good friend Donald and um, asked him to, to make some bearish tweets maybe that could help me out so Let's see about that. In the meanwhile, um, some guy told me that besides the S&P, the most traded market in the US is, is maybe Bitcoin. So um, I thought maybe I should have a deeper look into Bitcoin. I, I have never tried to, to study the cycles in Bitcoin and neither have I really um, analyzed the cycles for Bitcoin today. I have rather used the cycles that I know from the stock market and I have checked if they uh, apply to Bitcoin and indeed they do. So what can I find from these cycles in Bitcoin? If I start out on the very short term we have the four week cycle. Here I'm going back uh, to New Year this year and I have marked the four week cycle lows here. Also, as you know um, from my stock market videos, often uh, there's um, a sub-cycle within the four-week cycle and that's the, the two-week oscillation. So in the middle here, often we see some kind of a, of a low in the middle of the four-week cycle. So we are approaching um, a four-week cycle low late next week. So the cycle is bearish into late next week and I think we could maybe break this trend line uh, this coming week and make a low next week. However, this trend looks quite healthy, so I think we could make a higher high in June. But then you could maybe start rolling over and breaking down. Because the next cycle is the 17-week the cycle. And here I have marked the 17-week cycle lows with these diamonds. Some of them are light blue, that is where the low is a bit skewed to the right. So we have a late low, later than the cycle suggested. And there are a couple of these where, where the market lows came a little bit late, but um, this cycle works pretty good in my opinion. You might check for yourself. And here I have a cycle low coming up in August. So uh, right now there is no um, signals here su suggesting any breakdown into August like this. But um, that is kind of what I'm suspecting because on the bigger in the bigger picture I have shown you this cycle and that is the three and a half year cycle and the current position in the cycle this big double top is equivalent to the big double top we had in um, 2021. And currently this top we are making or could be making now the next few weeks is at this pretty much the same point in the three and a half year cycle as this previous one. So the cycle is bearish into the spring or early summer next year. So um, I do not expect any big bullish breakout in Bitcoin. But you know, that's only me speculating. Uh, but I think, in my opinion, we, this should be regarded as a double top. We should, this summer, start rolling over and we should start seeing this double top materialize and the low in August could give us some kind of a breakdown. But on the other hand, uh, you know, it is possible that it is all um, more, or, say, more um, bullish than I'm think thinking. You know, we could have, a, we could have, this could drag out and, and this low could be a high low and then in later in the fall we could continue the uptrend and then time would r be running out for bears because then when we finally get some kind of a breakdown and, and we 
correct down into spring, early summer, well, that low, or there is not that much time left to produce a long and deep bear market, and yeah, it could turn out more bullish. So I think for this to turn out really bearish for Bitcoin, this double top has to materialize, and ideally we should have some kind of a breakdown into August. That would trigger um, some bearish, really bearish outlooks for, for Bitcoin, in my opinion. So we have to see how, how the market will be topping out this summer and uh, how we how we go down into a low in August. So that's for me today and see you next time.